What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest series OS based on Android 13 and the version is 4.4. The build date here is 15th January 2023. Overall experience of using this ROM has been amazing for me. I'll just show you the about section quickly. This is how it looks like. We have the series OS version and we can see the wallpaper on this device right here and we have the device name as Raphael. The maintenance name is Danny Punk one and the Android version is Android 13. If I go into that and make this clock to one o'clock, it gives me a haptic feedback and shows the Android 13 Easter eggs. They definitely look cool in my opinion. Let me go back. We have the other like specification mentioned over here. The security patch is latest of January 5th, 2023. The stock kernel here is 4.14 Bullex kernel and the S Linux status showing as enforcing. In the system settings, this is how it looks like. We got the gesture settings right here. We have the quickly open camera and stuff, then the system navigation gestures. Now in the settings of it, there is the spell length customization if you want to do that. And we have the space under the keyboard and the swipe to invoke assistant also works perfectly fine. And we have the left edge right edge customization. Then we have the amount of screen height to be used for the back gesture. We have the two button and three button navigations as well. Let me go back the one handed mode also works perfectly fine. The screen of i40 option is right here and in the press and hold power button action you can set it to power menu or digital assistant as you like it and the swipe to take screenshot is also working fine let me show you we have the share edit delete and the google lens option also the capture mode feature appears whenever it's needed and we have the playback control and the prevent ringing let me go back from here we do get a system updater and you can check for updates from right here there is no new update as of right now but talking about flashing this rom yes it is very similar to all other roms i'll list the how to flash guide in the description you should not worry about it now in the pop-up camera settings there is the camera calibration option then we have the pop-up camera sound effects these are the effects you get and we have the front camera raise dialog and the camera ready option live translate feature is also here you can use it if you want now let's talk about the stock launcher well you do get a pixel launcher over here for some reason there is no double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen it doesn't have any modifications or something as you can see you can disable the stations but yes there is no double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen to the left of the home screen we get a really smooth experience of the google now cards and swiping up will get you to the app drawer and swiping down will get you to the quick setting panel now in the quick setting panel everything stays white i'll show you the toggles later on but let me show you in the home screen the widgets and stuff are working perfectly fine like the battery widget that i have added is actually working perfectly and it is connected to a bluetooth device so it's showing two separate battery icons and here you can directly go into the battery settings from right here the phone battery settings and if you want to go into the bluetooth settings or bluetooth battery settings you can go into right here and just notice the animations are working perfectly fine of this and let me just add this so i just added this clock widget it is working fine and if i tap it as you can see all the animations of it is working perfectly fine everything is very fast and fluid in terms of the display refresh rate this rom is insane it has this 102 hertz of refresh rate and yes definitely the ui it feels a lot more smoother so you can say in terms of refresh rate this rom is definitely even better than the evolution x rom as of right now maybe even evolution x will be adding this particular 100 hertz feature or 102 hertz so this is insane i would say as you can see refresh it right now is set to 100 hertz let me show you the quick setting panel everything stays white again in the light theme but if you turn on the dark theme of course the whole quick setting panel turns dark and we get this wi-fi the bluetooth and stuff in the flashlight dark theme these are the toggles that i have added always on display you can toggle it for charge only and you can toggle the always on display as well then we have the screen recording option and you can record the device audio and microphone audio recording at the same time then we have the google home controls do not disturb and the reboot toggle is also present and here we have the sound toggle too if you tap and hold on it you get the volume panel just like this one handed mode the ambient display and stuff and the refresh rate toggle is also here and here we have the key profiles these are basically performance profiles that you can toggle and you can also get it in the battery settings i think now here the power menu looks like this if you tap on advanced you can directly reboot the recovery or fast boot from right here basically simple things now let's talk about the stock camera well you are getting this lmc 8.4 camera and with this yes you can shoot 4k 60 fps videos no issues with that let me actually show you on screen yeah it is working perfectly fine everything is fast and smooth and shows this 4k ultra resolution frame rate here it shows 60 as well so yeah you can also switch the mic if you're using a bluetooth device or something you can use that if you want now in the camera settings too this is basically a lmc camera the front camera is working perfectly fine but this is gcam it will take too much detailed photo as you can see 
so yeah you, you can enable this selfie illumination and stuff if you want so basically you got getting a gcam right out of the box you can definitely use it even the night set and stuff should be working fine no issues but you do not get a lens switching option with this yes there are a lot of like configs for this i don't know which one will be perfect for this but yeah there are huge amount of options i did try a couple of them but it was force closing the camera so i stopped trying them by the way i have installed this gcam i'll list it below in the description is a mgc gcam and with that all the lenses are actually working fine like the 0.6x lens and stuff as you can see it is working perfectly fine even the 1x normal mode this is just a digital zoom of 1x 2x but yeah you can also use the 2x telephoto lens if you want yeah right now as you can see it is in the 2x telephoto lens but it does take a little more time to actually switch the lenses here and in the video settings we still have the 4k 60fps option so if you want to shoot with that and we have a 8k option but that doesn't work on the redmi k20 pro but yes we of course are getting 4k 60 fps so you can definitely shoot 1080p 60 as well it is cherry choice so it has huge huge amount of customization in the cherry settings we get all of these and let me show you one by one in the status bar settings we are getting the status bar double tap to sleep the background chip network traffic indicator battery style and stuff and we have this like much battery styles plethora of options are there i have been using with the landscape art style a but you can use it with any one that you like and the clock style and stuff you can change it right left or center and the clock font or the format of it you can actually change from right here if you want let me go back we have the status bar icons the headset bluetooth etc icons are present and we have the show data disabled icon the 4g icon and we have the roaming indicator and stuff colored icons and the bluetooth battery stats the brightness control every feature is here in the quick selling panel we have the transparency controlling option then the quick pull down you can actually change as you like it and the clock font size on the quick setting panel you can change the brightness slider you can have it on show always and the position you can change to top or bottom and we have the auto brightness icon then we have the data usage the height level and the vertical layout options too let me go back in the themes we have this settings layout you can actually change it between these many options and you can actually change the settings base layout home layout and the use card option the material dismiss button you can enable it if you want and even you can change the button style if you want and we have the dark theme right here you can schedule it if you want and we have the ui style so you can change between these many options for the ui style and also you can actually change the lock screen clock font i have been using it with this one and let me show you with this this is how it looks like definitely it looks beautiful even on the always on display you can enable it let me show you so as you are noticing this is the always on display of the device it looks beautiful in my opinion and you can like switch through a lot of other options like these ones let me show you from here and definitely there are plethora of options for these you can just switch to any one that you like it does take a little bit time but yes definitely you can switch through a lot of these and it looks awesome even in the always on display and in the lock screen too they look just beautiful i'll try to show some screenshots of these so that you can get an idea of like how all of them look but definitely this is one of the best features i would say as of right now that you are getting with most android 13 roms to actually change the clock font of android 13 bigger kind of clock of lock screen then we have the quick setting panel style changing option you can have it on this two-tone accent this is how it looks even the border line option is there i guess or the outline let me show you this is how it looks like with the outline definitely looks clean a lot more cleaner i would say and in the headline body fonts we have plethora of fonts including the nothing dot font i guess as you can see the nothing dot headline and stuff is here and we have even more like the samsung one sony sketch etc options then we have the icon packs and these are the icon packs that you get also we have the signal icon styles and these are the options plethora of options i would say even in terms of signal icons by the way if you insert a volte sim card the signal icon will show up obviously the wi-fi icon styles as well you can switch it from into the buttons and in here we have the system navigation gestures as well then the show volume panel on the left side the volume step and the volume rocker and the keyboard cursor control in the animations we have this power menu animation you can change the power menu appearing animation over here the lock screen customization here we have the long press power button toggle torch and the double tap to sleep on the lock screen then we have the edge lighting too and you can change this to notification color and stuff and the height power menu on lock screen for privacy in the udfps option we have this udfps icon picker and plethora of icons are here as you are noticing so you won't be having any issues with the icons on of the fod and here you also get the fod animations and these are the animations that you get again plethora of options for the fingerprint scanner animation i'll show you the speed and stuff but you can also change the fingerprint scanner breast color so this option was there in the android 11 roms as far as i remember but here also you are getting this 
we have the ripple effect then the media cover art and if you scroll down more we have the pulse and the blood amount for the lock screen media art in the power menu we have this advanced reboot enabling option and the opacity and stuff for the power menu is there even the shortcuts you can toggle on and we have the battery charging light here you can enable this do not disturb light and stuff for the notification led on the pop-up camera make heads up less annoying option is there than the kill app button retigger and if you scroll down more we have this in call vibrations in the misc settings we have this launch music app on headset connect ignore windows secure flags and the smart charging and even the app lock is here there is the google photos and stuff so you should not worry about the app lock on this one i'll show you the app lock later on here we have the smart pixels and smart charging both are there and we have the unlock higher fps in games unlock google photos unlimited storage and we have this click to click partial screenshot option and in the about you can just donate to the developers and see more info about this rom let me go back and in the display settings we can see like this and in the lock screen we have the privacy kind of settings show device control and control from lock device is for the google home control app and we have this screen off fod and the wake screen for notification right here we have the pocket detection the dark theme and the display size and text option is also there you can enable this high contrast text if you want if you scroll down more we have the live display calibration and the rgb control is here let me go back we have the colors you can change it to saturated boosted or adaptive we have the screen protector mode where it like increases the sensitivity of the screen i think and we have the double tap to wake prevent external wake up and the wake up on plug in the ambient display we of course have the pick up gesture and it is actually working fine let me show you if i put the device on the desk if i just pick it up on my hand as you can see the screen wakes up in the ambient display in the wallpaper and styles this is how it looks like by the way i have been using a fresh walls wallpaper and you can see the wallpaper definitely looks beautiful over here and you can change the wallpaper colors or the like accent colors to 16 colors from the wallpaper color or the basic color individually and we have the dark theme the themed icons okay so this is going weird i don't know why it's happening if i just scroll up just look at this we have the dark theme the themed icons and in terms of upgrade we have this 5 by 5 option up to let me show you the battery settings this is how it looks like and this is where i feel this is one of the best experience for this rom because we are getting to see the battery temperature the charging cycle and the current and design battery capacity all of these you do not get to see in most roms right now even evolution x rom does not have these kind of features right now they have removed this feature so this is insane we are getting to see all of these information right into the battery settings i have a new battery that's why this is showing as 30 cycles and even the battery temperature you can see it's pretty low in the k profiles you can actually change the profiles to this non battery balanced and performance options and you can even turn it off if you don't want to use this kind of profile so yeah and we have the battery charge warning and the smart charging and stuff let me show you i have used the echo battery app to actually test the battery life i have been getting about eight and a half hours of screen on time that's again a huge amount of number in my opinion and even the screen off you can see it's about five days and the combined use is about 13 hours so in my opinion this is one of the best battery lives that i have got on the redmi k20 pro in the health section it shows as 92 percent so this is a new battery again that's why my battery health is good even the fast charging is working fine and one thing that i have noticed while fast charging is in some roms with 33 watt fast charging the device definitely gets hot but here it doesn't get too hot to the touch while it's fast charging that i have noticed in the sound and vibration settings this is how it looks like we have the media call ring etc volume controls and this is how the volume panel looks like you can expand it just like this and you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here and of course you can switch the output device if it's playing music i guess and here if you scroll down we have the live caption adaptive sound and stuff then we have the vibration haptics per app volume control is here you can enable it if you want and the screenshot sound and stuff you can disable if you want and the me sound enhancer is also present you can enable it and go with the youth edition for best quality audio via the 3.5 headphone jack and i would say yes the sound quality with the headphone jack the speakers and the bluetooth audio and stuff everything is perfectly fine here and we have the bass booster option and stuff in terms of these presets we have this hi-fi audio option too if you want to use a really great pair of headphones and in the haptic feedback you can control the intensity of the vibration of going back and stuff overall in the ui of the haptic feedback you can control and definitely we have this clear speaker option too if your speakers sound muffled you can use it if you want and while playing music this is how the volume panel will look like you can actually see the app volume from right here if you have it turned on also you can actually see the sound vibration and stuff all these other settings from here and let me show you if you tap here okay so it doesn't show you that like volume panel switching option but you can do that from right here as you can see in the quick setting panel too it appears and even in the lock screen let me show you this is how it looks like in the lock screen and the seek bar of android 13 is actually working fine and again you can switch the output device from right here it also has the wiper for android fx if you want to improve sound quality even further this app is present by default 
Let me just quickly set up the face unlock. So with high refresh rate, if you just enable camera with any app or even with the system, the UI just lags if you have noticed that face unlock setup. So I did lag for a couple of moments and even in Gcam and stuff, I have seen that. But yeah, I'll just show you the face unlock speed right now. But before that, as you can see, there is a quick unlock mode and stuff if you want to enable all of those. And even the app lock is here, you should not worry about it. Now, double tapping on the status bar does make the phone sleep. And double tapping over here will make the phone wake up in the lock screen. And here, if I just swipe up, it shows recognizing face right now. And as you can see, it has unlocked. Let me show you one more time with the lock screen and swiping up. The face unlock is actually working perfectly fine here. Right now, let me show you the screen of FOD. And here, as you can see, the screen is off. And if I just tap the fingerprint scanner area, as you can see, the screen wakes up and unlocks. So screen of FOD is actually working fine. Even double tapping to wake and from the lock screen too, of course, the fingerprint scanner is working fine. And if I just enable the always on display, and here, if I show you from the always on display again, this is how it looks like. If I tap the fingerprint scanner, as you can see, it unlocks. So yeah, very fast experience, I would say in terms of fingerprint scanner unlocking over here. Even with the screen of A40, it unlocks fine. And from the always on display too, it unlocks perfectly fine in my opinion. Now let me show you the app lock. And if you have locked a particular app, once you try to open it, it will show you like this, unlock this particular app. And if you tap the fingerprint scanner, as you can see, that particular app unlocks. And in terms of basic things, yes, safety net passes. So using banking apps is not a problem on this particular ROM right out of the box. And the DRM info stays as L1 here. So you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p without any issues. And of course, this ROM does have the Google Photos unlimited backup. So you should not worry about it. And here are the Android 20 Geekbench score with a CPU stress test on this particular build to give you an idea about the overall UI's performance. So if you ask me who is this ROM actually for, well, I would say this is one of the most customizable ROM which shows the battery charging cycles and stuff if you are a nerd. And of course, it does have that 102 Hz FPS and with that, flying through the UI is just like super buttery smooth experience. The scrolling is perfectly fine. If you're noticing, let me show you one more time. As you can see, the scrolling is not a problem whatsoever. So even with 102 Hz, uh, if you're noticing, the whole device experience is much much more fluid and even you can go into the split top mode and stuff even with that the ui does not feel sluggish at all everything is just fast and smooth in this particular rom so overall i definitely liked it give this video a thumbs up if you liked it share this video with your friends if you feel like this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now